In the company of various experts who are passionate about livestock ranching, we will learn about the importance of implementing sound nutritional and financial practices, seeking to improve the profits for the ranch through the application of the NS system. I've had a love of animals and ranching since I've been a little boy. That's what drove me to study to become a veterinarian. And after seeing the great deficiencies throughout the country in terms of bovine nutrition and reproduction, I decided to get my master's and I specialize in those two areas, in nutrition and how nutrition can drive reproductive results. We must keep in mind that as a ruminant, a cow is an animal that has a productive machinery that allows for the conversion of low-quality protein into high-quality protein. What do I mean by that? They can take pastures that are low in protein, rich in fiber and structural sugars, and convert them into meat, which is a high-quality protein. Nutrition is essential to cattle so that they can achieve their full productive and reproductive potential. That is why we must look for new nutritional alternatives so that we can satisfy the growing demand for meat and milk in the marketplace. So the pasture is the most important component. It is the nutritional pillar. And for that reason, we must have a good understanding of how those pastures work, what is their physiology, how they grow, and we must keep in mind that pastures will vary depending on the area. They are all different pastures, and they need to be managed differently. Proper management of pastures and livestock ranches is very important, so that the animals can graze the right pasture at the right time. If it is not managed properly, it can cause degradation of the pasture and lower productivity. Market analysis is a systematic process of gathering and analyzing data about customers, competitors, and the market. With that information, companies can formulate a business plan launch new products or services, improve existing products, and expand to new markets. Catalina Escobar is a person that until a few years ago worked in a field unrelated to livestock ranching. But she discovered that her true passion and love was the countryside, and she decided that the NS Livestock System is the best option to apply her knowledge and to help Colombian ranching to achieve its full production potential. We have to clearly frame the type of market where livestock ranching operates. A market with perfect competition, that is, one where buyers and sellers are in constant contact throughout. For approximately 20 years, the NS Livestock System team has been monitoring market activity on a monthly basis in order to analyze behavioral patterns during specific times of the year and thus trace trend lines for cattle prices. Trend lines are the primary tool that we use in order to carry out market analysis in the correct way. These curves have been used for many years in different economic activities, but their application to livestock is practically non-existent. Our goal with these trend lines, or forecasts, is to grant producers market visibility so they can buy and sell cattle in sync with the season that is best for them, depending on their production methods. Price forecasts are obtained thanks to years of market monitoring, coupled with the all-important weather factor. 
En verano, por ejemplo, In summer or dry season, which happens during the months January through April, forage supplies are low and the demand for cattle is constricted. In the month of April, the rainy season begins and prices in the market stabilize. But in the months June, July and August, the supply of forage increases. And that is the time when producers generally buy livestock at the highest prices. All meat producers in the country can take advantage of the market analysis tool because this is a market with perfect competition. There are always buyers and sellers active in the meat market. It is not the same for milk producers because their prices are regulated. Besides, it's a simple, easy to use tool. Market analysis tools can be easily implemented as a component to the farm's production targets, be they finishing, stocker cattle, or calves. The advantages that can be obtained through market analysis are better and more abundant information for decision making, knowledge of the size of the market for entry or expansion, allows a rancher to time sales to match market demand. Throughout the year, and this is a fact well known to ranchers, there are periods when forage supply is low. This drop in forage availability leads to cows not gaining weight during certain times of the year, or they may become infertile or subfertile, and that is what we are trying to avoid. The NS system tries to guarantee the availability of forage throughout the entire year, always keeping in mind that in order to guarantee the availability of forage, I need to make some modifications to the animal's feeding habits. I am also going to need to add some supplements so as to optimize the use of that pasture. The new methods of feeding currently used in the ranching world are based on the use of feed concentrate, which is integrated into the diet at different stages in the cow's reproductive cycle. The rational use of mineralized salts is a practice that is widely implemented in animal production. What is it that we're doing? We achieve a good accumulation of biomass. As you can see in this paddock here, these are paddocks that have rested for about 90 days. And a lot of people may say, that goes against everything I have learned and everything I've been told. Pasture should be consumed young, the younger the better, because that grass is richer in nutrients. What we say is, no. It's better to go for availability of forage and to let the grass mature more. Many would describe that as letting the grass lignify. And yes, that is what is really happening to the grass. It is lignifying. But we can, by focusing on the ruminal environment, by favoring the growth of cellulotic bacteria, by favoring the growth of bacteria that produce fatty acids, including those that produce acetic fatty acids, and by improving the ruminal environment as such, we can make sure that the rumen can digest lignified or old grass, as we often called it, and we can guarantee that those cows will have forage available throughout the year, and that that forage material can be broken down, digested, and used by the cows with a resulting increase in production. We invite you to observe in the company of Nicolas Sierra how a financial and economic analysis is performed and to see why it is important to keep proper records in the farm in order to improve profitability. We must keep in mind for the profitability analysis the objectivity of the data in a given period of time. Are we going to analyze labor? Are we looking at costs? Are we looking to evaluate supplements? We look at the company's cost structure, fixed and variable costs. We analyze them over a set period of time, usually on a monthly basis, and from that we can determine monthly profitability.
profitability? But what is profitability? Profitability is the measure of the net profit left over from the exploitation of an asset. It means that all of the assets in the livestock enterprise will be reflected at the end in my net profitability. And dividing that profitability by the value of the assets will give me, as a percentage, the profitability for a given period of time. Now we will learn how the analysis of the data is done with the cost and competitivity simulator using the NS system. Once we bring in data from the field, all of the data in the system regarding paddock rotation, weight gains, money spent on feed concentrate and supplements, and the company's entire cost and expense structure, we feed that into a tool developed by the NS Livestock Ranching System over many years, and it's a cost and competitiveness simulator focused on meat production. We're going to look at the many variables that the simulator requires, and it can allow us to run a forecast of the company, forecasting revenue and profitability based on its cost structure and taking into account all of the strategies set forth in the system. The nutritional supplements used in the Parua Ranch are distributed using buckets so that the cattle can consume them at will. Let's see how this work is done and why it is so indispensable. In regards to supplements, it's important to have a good number of buckets, depending on the number of animals in a given paddock. De acuerdo al número de animales que se tiene en el lote, se deben tener you need about one bucket for every three animals. These supplements must be administered daily. The cowboy who comes here to count the cows is in charge of distributing the salts. One of the great advantages that we enjoy here is that our animals are very docile. So as I quickly administer the supplements, I can then simultaneously count and verify that the animals are healthy, that there are no problems, and that the cows are in perfect condition. Protein salts have a rationale. Protein salts only work if I have a good amount of forage available. That forage material is one that is relatively low in nutrients. What we achieve by administering protein salts, which are consumed in small amounts, is to optimize the environment of the rumen so that this forage with low nutritional content can be better absorbed by the cattle. The main advantage of working with this tool is that it speeds up decision-making in livestock enterprises. Once I have up-to-date information on my grazing system, supplement, costs and expenses, I can simulate negotiation scenarios, and I can try to forecast finishing a herd of female cows, raising female calves, finishing a herd of males, taking into account the current time in the season and the future time I want to forecast. So if I know that fattened cattle are expensive in April and May, and it's now September, when is it prudent to buy, depending on my current cost structure? Or is it better to wait a few months in order to fetch a better price and higher profits, always aiming towards selling the fattened cattle during the right season? Likewise, with breeding cattle, I can buy calves that weigh 200 kilos at a given time, but always timing it to coincide with periods of low prices. And I can forecast the future selling of those same calves, taking into account the entire cost structure, to see which of the two alternatives is more profitable. 
It is also useful because here I can model an entire ranch and I can look at a traditional continuous grazing system with existing data and I can see how much I can invest in rational grazing, which takes advantage of plant physiology to obtain a positive cost-benefit result. If I double a load and increase the use of supplements by a few kilos more and thus optimize the rumen, I can see here immediately cost-benefit data for that investment and whether it's justified or not. Hemos visto cómo el simulador de costos y competitividad del sistema NS es una herramienta que nos beneficiará, pues su estructura está muy completa, lo cual nos ayudará a mantenernos informados de los elementos con los que contamos en la finca para así tomar las decisiones pertinentes. Next, let's see what the administrator of the Vallecitos Ranch thinks about the results obtained using the NS system on his farm. My name is Jorge Jaraba, and I am manager of the Vallecitos Ranch. I have been with the company for five years, and we've used the NS system for two. I think it's a very good system, because the animals are tamer, they gain more weight, we have more forage, and we save a lot on weed control. It's very efficient. Fellow ranchers, we have seen how the various modules for financial, economic, and market analysis and the tools associated with each one of those modules. We hope that it's proving to be useful. We are convinced that through the development of market analysis, financial and management tools, we can increase the profitability of our ranching operations and at the same time transform this activity into a viable, profitable and competitive business. In this line of work, it's very important to track what we are doing in order to know whether or not we're getting the results we want or not. A good way of doing that is by checking weights if we're talking about stalker cattle and to know their daily weight gains. In a breeding operation, we need to check each animal's individual record and analyze all of the available information, inspect the animals between births, check adjusted weight at weaning. A very important indicator is the cow index, which measures the number of grams, the amount of grams of calf that a particular cow is producing for us each day. We can also make some field observations that will tell us if the pasture we are giving to these cows is being digested properly or not. Here, for example, we have a cow patty from one of the cows in this paddock. We can make several observations. First, we look at the formation of rings, which tells us that the animal is consuming an adequate amount of dry vegetable matter. It is a cow patty that has a structure. In addition to that, you can see that it is shiny, and when I start digging around, I don't see any undigested material inside. Observe that this material, the size of the particles in its structure, indicates that it's been totally digested. What can we conclude from this? That this is highly fibrous material, a grass that one could say is highly lignified, is being properly digested by the animal thanks to a proper ruminal environment. A ranch's most important resource is its workforce. It's not enough for us technicians to visit a ranch and make good recommendations. It's the people that work on that ranch on a daily basis that will guarantee the real success of any of these programs. Hello, Freddy. Hi, Camilo. How are you? Good. How is it going with the supplements for these cows? It's going well. The animals are looking good, drinking lots of water, and as you can see, they're very docile. Good. How much are these cows eating in a day? 300 grams. 300 grams. 
And what types of cows are these? These are due to give birth soon, in September. As they get closer to birthing, we'll move them to a special area. Good. And how long have they been in this paddock? Two days. And how long has this pasture rested? It has a lot of biomass. Approximately 85 days. Camilo, I wanted to tell you that it's important to place these buckets wide apart so as to minimize waste. That's the idea, that there should be a good number of buckets. So how many do you have in this paddock? In this paddock, I have approximately 15 buckets. And for how many animals? 38 animals. So you have one bucket for every two or three animals. Yes, sir. That is ideal because we avoid competition. We avoid a situation where some eat and others don't. It looks perfect. Also, they're eating the salt you give them every day on the same day. So there is no waste. The salt isn't hardening and we have no issues with decomposition. It looks great. So when you arrive at a ranch, it's key to make a proper diagnostic of the personnel available and to make sure that the people who will implement these programs are committed to the system and that they have a sense of ownership of the ranch because in the end, that is what will determine the success or failure of these programs. It's all about the people who spend all day with the herd, those who are concerned about the rational management of pastures, about daily supplements, and who care about the management and care of the pastures and the herd. Without them, it would be impossible to achieve the goals set by the NS ranching system. To them, I extend my sincerest thanks and gratitude for their commitment.